Coyotes hosting the Kings. The Kings are minus 170 on the money line. The Coyotes are plus 145. The over-under is six goals. The Kings laying a goal and a half are plus 143, while the Coyotes getting a goal and a half are minus 170. The Kings are on a four-game winning streak. The Coyotes are on a three-game losing streak. The Kings are 19 and 17 against the spread. The over is 19 and 15 in the games in which they played in, and they are 9, 7, and 3 on the road this year. The Coyotes are 18 and 13 against the spread. The over is 16 and 15 in the games in which they played in, and they are 4, 3, and 2 at home this season. Now, I know the Kings are playing back-to-back -back nights, but they played in L.A., and it's like an hour flight from L.A. to Arizona, so not too, too much in travel. Now, head-to-head, -head, the Kings are on a three-game winning streak against the Coyotes. The Kings are 6-4 and four against the Coyotes in their last 10. The favorite is on a three-game winning streak. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. However, the underdog getting a goal and a half is 7-3 and three in their last 10. There have been five one-goal games in their last 10 meetings, including two out of the last four that they played against each other. The over-under is 5-5 five and five in their last 10. The road team is 8-2 and two in their last 10 meetings, and the under-6 six is 6-3-1 six, and one in their last 10 meetings. The last game that they played, the Kings won 5-3 at home. The game before that, the Kings won 3-2 on the road. The game before that, the Kings won 5-3 on the road. The game before that, the Coyotes won 2-1 in overtime. And the game before that, the Kings won 4-2. I'm going to take the Kings with the money line. I'm going to take the Kings laying the goals. And I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.